So hello everyone. Welcome back to the Skillar Academy YouTube channel. Myself Vamsi. In this tutorial, we will be learning about a client server architecture, which is a very 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 important to understand system designing concepts. Okay. So we generally use a client server architecture in our day to day life. So like everything nowadays are client server architecture in model only. But we often don't know what is that client server architecture. So let's take some time. and to understand what is client server architecture and how that has been uh, processed and how that works and what are all the things that involves in client server architecture okay so without wasting any time let's get started so before starting so if you are visiting channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe if you like the content please hit that like button up if you have any queries or questions please let us know in the comment section now let's start discussing about a client server architecture so before uh, jumping into the discussing about architecture first we'll see what are the terminologies okay so what is meant by client so client might be user okay so simply uh, i will tell you with uh, one example for better understanding so on server might be some database or some back end thing okay so you can consider client as working at front end so let's say let's say um, okay let's take an example of coachef okay so i have an coachef website okay so i have logged in into uh, using my credentials and there will be something for a uh, search with username okay so i want to know what are the ratings of my friend okay so i will provide his particular username right now so what i will get i will get all the details of his ratings and what are the contest histories and all so what exactly happens behind this thing okay so whenever you hit that submit button or search button so it will go to a server okay you can typically call this as a back end so uh, let's assume there are some db over there okay which to, which is uh, storing all the informations of coach of users okay so whenever you search for with that particular username it will uh, return you the details of the that particular user okay so here this particular like the web application which you are uh, using to send and request is called as a client side client side which you are using directly and this particular part you are using indirectly you don't know like someone who is an uh, a uh, 12th standard or 10th standard guy came and is searching something on google okay he don't know exactly what is happening behind that he knows something like if i enter like um, something i will get something that's it okay so this is the back end right so back end logic kind of stuff okay so this is in simple what is client and server okay we'll come to more details later okay first we'll discuss what is a before client server architecture before client server architecture so before this uh, we used to have mainframe computers we can call them as stand alone systems what does it mean so let's say you have a one computer you have one computer and you have created some database by using any sql a sql database okay on your local machine okay so this is your uh, system okay so there is some uh, sql database uh, we have created with some tables and all and also you have created one uh, a web page to access the uh, sql data okay database so can i ask few questions here now it is in your system so can your friend able to access that data which is residing on the database from his own system without having any connection no it is not possible right so that kind of systems are called as an stand alone systems where the data has been restricted to one particular system so you might be the client and you are the owner okay server is residing in your machine itself okay so others are not allowed to use that particular server okay so that is the 
before before uh, client server architecture came into exist now let's see what is a client server architecture it is not new okay hope we have discussed this in while telling the terminologies of client and server so let's see in detail okay so basically let's say you are at a client side and you will make some a request okay you will make some a request to the a server what, what is a request so a request can be anything let's say www.google.com can be one request right as i said earlier searching with uh, like entering one a uh, coach of username and uh, expecting some all the details of that particular user so here the request is so search with this particular username i want all the uh, details so that is one request right so this is a request so what is this server side contains so it contains some db like databases so tell me is that always and data is that always and data no i don't think so what might be so it might be some calculations logicals let's say you are using an uh, emi calculator applications emi calculator applications where you will be saying like i wanted to buy a home okay so this is the amount i wanted like uh, 12 lakhs i want 12 lakhs and what what will be the a uh, pay okay what how much i need to pay so per month if the interest rate is five percent on the and i'm willing to pay only i would like to take the uh, loan for a uh, seven years so is there any do you think is there any db involved here no but still it's a request right so i can say that there is a logic as well so in server side in server side i can say that both a db and logic has been residing in particular mission so here after like whatever if you have search with user uh coach of username it will go to database and it has to return something to the client right so it has to return the details of that particular user right so it will send some responses back to the client okay so even if it is an uh logic side uh, like for this particular example still it has to send some responses right so you have to uh, pay monthly 20 23,000 kind of stuff so even that is also one response so this is how the actual a uh, client server uh, look architecture looks like and we oftenly call this as an two-tier architecture two-tier architecture so why two-tier <laughs> so is there anything apart from a client side and server side no there is no other uh, things involved okay now let's see few things which were involved other things as well okay let's say so i have a client side and i have a like i am dividing the server side into the uh, two parts okay logical and db i know that sometimes i need not to go to db okay so i am pretty much sure that i don't have a work with a db always so what i will do so i will go to simply to logic and i will check whether it's a logical based or uh, it requires db so if it is a logical based uh, what i will do i will solve the problem here itself okay if it is an a logic based uh, sorry db involved i would go here okay so this kind of things being called as a three tier architecture so one two three three tier so there is something like a entire architecture as well entire architecture what does it mean so let's say uh, you have a client and you are using some a uh, load balancers to process your request to different servers okay so let's say you might have one server but there might exist of different clients okay so n number of clients no guarantee right always so do you think only one person can at a time can uh, search in and google no okay so uh, many people some billions of people used to search at a time so how they are uh, processing your requests so if they have multiple servers they will use load balancers to divide your request to and process your request to multiple servers at a time 
to feel that you are in an like you are the alone you are using that particular system okay so and uh like uh so instead of uh, going to directly to the server let's say you have a catch you have a cache memory what i will do for the first time i will request okay so it will process to the server like it will go to the first go to the cache memory and it will search whether whatever i have requested is there in cache memory or not okay so if it is presented if it is there in cache memory it will simply return from cache memory itself okay it won't go to the server just because of the fact that i have found okay i have response for your request so if it is not there in cache what it will do it will go to server and it will take that response instead of going directly to the client it will go to a cache first okay cache memory and it will put a replica or copy of that response in a cache memory then it will return to client okay so here this like this so we are i have uh, simply used a load balancers and cache here so there might be other things will also exist while designing complex systems okay so in that situations you can call it as entire architecture okay mm, yeah so yeah let's move on so the next part is thick clients clients have been divided into a thick clients and thin clients what are they who are they <laughs> right you might have that question let's say so a thick clients is or something okay let's say hope you have a no a client side rendering and a server side rendering server side rendering what does it mean so basically so do you think all the calculations you do will go to the server no let's say i have uh, simply developed an calculator app calculator app okay so i will enter two values two plus three okay do you think it will go to the server and it will do some logic and it will it will come back to a result no so i can handle this in my code base only like at the client side as well so that kind of a systems will call as a thick clients okay who does their work at the client side only so some of the famous example like so we use a lot of things in our day to day life so fewer outlook and uh, g talk google talk and also some online trading uh, portals as well like it involves a lot of calculations right so yeah so that is about thick clients now we'll talk about thin clients so uh, it's a quite opposite to thick clients okay so in thick clients we are uh, rendering at the client side so in thin clients we go to the server and we'll process our request in server request in server and we'll get some response for for a response so that is a thin clients we can consider anything like a simply and a school database or college college database okay so where uh, if you are searching for an employee or uh, any student date okay student so your request has to go to the server side and it has to get the all the details even in the uh, in very first example that we have discussed code chef application so even it has to go to the code chef database and it has to process that request so it has to return that that's it okay